around and, and have a, a word of prayer. Because we've got to ask for his guidance, his leadership, and his blessings on everything that we do. Uh, Reverend, would you uh, lead us with a good word of prayer? Yes, sir. Father, we thank you now for this day, this opportunity to come to give you praise, glory, and honor. Dear Lord, we thank you for in the midst of anything that happens, we know that you're in absolute control. Now, dear Lord, we thank you for those who have come to see about their brothers and sisters. We pray that what we do here today will inspire others to come together as a community, that we understand that we are one. And then, dear Lord, we pray that you bless everything that's going to be done and those that are willing to do it. In the name of Jesus, we ask it now. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Very good. That gets, that gets us started off in the right direction. We've been meeting today trying to figure out some things that we can do immediately to help. Uh, there, we've got crews uh, from the uh, Tennessee Valley Baptist, Sand Mountain Baptist, willing to tear out, uh, carry out. Uh, the street department is willing to help carry uh, belongings down to the to the uh, uh, city building, the warehouse building, to store those if, if they need to be stored. We've got uh, AME Church, water. sir. The AME Church, A A A African Methodist Episcopal Church. It is willing to do what? Anything. So I'm her pastor, so. All right. We, we've got crews that are waiting to tear out and, and help to move, and, and uh, we have uh, uh, several folks that have buildings and whatnot that we. That so we you find, you've got some other storage areas that uh, the community rising up. Brother Spears said the community would, would come together and do those things now. Uh, we, the legislative delegation, we're prepared to put some money into housing, uh, helping the folks to relocate. Now, and we've got to tear out, but now the biggest problem is that uh, everyone says we, we shouldn't be building back in this flood blown prone area, that it will happen again. So. The occupants like Miss Cotton and all have got to decide what you want to do. It's your property, you decide what you want to do. Uh, but the advice of the street department and the folks that we're meeting a while ago is uh, this is likely to happen again. Now we're meeting with the high, uh, with the uh, railroad the seventh of next month, uh, and the city officials trying to figure out a long-term solution. But you all got problems today. Right now, right. we got to we got to solve or help you with the problems you've got right now. Uh, but uh, building back in these houses in this very lo low area, the, uh, Mr. Dalberry, where are you? Right behind you. Uh, the advice uh, that you were given by, and uh, others that know it is not wise to build back the bottle out again. Is that what you're saying? We're pretty sure that we won't be able to fix the drainage to where it'll handle a seven or eight inch rain in a three or four hour period. What we're trying to accomplish now with our, with our engineers, with the CDG, with the railroad engineers, we're trying to be able to, to get a comfort zone of a two, three to four inch rain. We won't have to worry about it. We think that's achievable, but I believe in May of 03, we had. 10 or 11 inch rain. Uh, seven years later, we're here with a seven inch rain and we have the same results. So, our system is just not designed to handle that on downstream. And uh, so, we're trying to get y'all to the point where we can handle a two, three, four inch rain and you not have to worry about it. Is, is there places that, uh, that can be identified if these folks should? want to relocate that you might be able to help them to be able to move into what they can afford? We've got some other people that are working on that. We, we, we talked to that, about that this morning, Senator Barron and, and uh, President Taylor and uh, Robertson. Uh, we're, we've got people that's looking at that right now to, to uh, come up with a, a temporary uh, solution to the housing problem. And, uh, the city's going to do what we need to do to make that happen. They are all committed to that. And like I say, we've got some people right now checking on, on some of those things. 
But are you saying that people shouldn't rebuild here? No, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that that we. You saying it's going to flood again? If you if you rebuild, it's going to flood again. You said we're temporary. Yeah. People can't afford to no, rebuild. I'm not, I mean, we're not. We're not. Who's going to pay for what's the high, high, high? How can people live with stuff that, that they've lost? That, that, Taking a lifetime to achieve. I mean, my, my, my aunt is 75 years old. She's a military -like wife. She's lived all over the country. She came here and called it home. And she, my uncle has fought in several wars and won. And he's come here and can't win over the water and call his place home. And he's lost everything he's worked for all his life just because of the water. And, and, and he's got to, he, he can't afford to, to build all of that stuff back. I mean, he just, he just, He's not able to do that. Okay. Oh, well, what can he do about everything he's already lost? I got to put this down. I know it's just the list of the Well, I'm, I'm not in. I'm not in today. I'm just, I'm just involved with the drainage problem. Well, I, if I if I may, I I, uh -huh. I understand what you're saying. The idea is to do something that's immediate to get these people that, but... comfortable and to try to salvage what can be done. Uh -huh. But I would simply ask, as a community representative, or one of the people in this community, that once we get all that done, is there room for us to sit down to see what can be done long term to meet the needs of this community? One of the things that, that, that the community has cried out, now I'm new to this, but one of the things that the community has cried out about is that they feel like that, that they've been neglected because there have been a there have been a, a number of issues that have arisen that have not been addressed and their voice has not been heard. So today it's wonderful. All of us are here with the same intent, which is to try to do something to help these folks to get back on their feet and to and to make them as comfortable as possible. But we we are very interested in longevity and what the what the what the future is going to be and how we can work harmoniously together as the various agencies to make sure that when these kind of things come into our community, that we've already proactive and not reacted. Let me, let me address some of this because I sat in on the meeting this morning uh, and, and some of the things that I've got to consider, let me get in front of my two ladies right here. Yeah. <laughs> some of the things that I consider short term is uh, to provide that relief right now because as we walk through your house a few minutes ago, you know, I had to catch my breath a little bit. So we know that we have to do something short term right up front. And, and that's going to be uh, measured and it's going to be involved. To answer your question, Pastor, long term, uh, even as these rains had just, um, uh, as they were still coming down on, what was that, Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday uh, the mayor was out, the city engineer was out, uh, the, the, uh, the two consultants for the drainage plan. There's a drainage plan that's, that's, that's been approved and it's going to start. Uh, very soon, it's going to take care of the long-term solution that you're talking about. What Mr. Dalberry has just mentioned is that that rain that took place Tuesday was a seven-inch rain, and that the city and, and the immediate uh, attention can be can be given to like three to four-inch rains. So that will provide some relief. But that's still, when, when that rain comes, Ms. Horton and Ms. Minnie don't want to worry if they got to keep an eye out to evacuate. We, we want to try to deal with those things too. I just talked with Ms. Minnie, and, and there are a lot of valuable heirlooms, a lot of sentimental things in her in her house. But now there are some decisions that residents and property owners need to make. Well, I just want to say also, now listen, I, I don't mean to be ugly, yeah. but they know that I've already been to their office, and I've already met with, with, with Mr. Robinson. I've already been to the mayor's office, and I've already yeah. been to several offices. Yeah. But it seemed like something like this had to happen before somebody come out and say, hey, let me help you. Funny how the engineers and everybody were here to help us on the day of the flood. But I went to them back seven years ago. You understand what I'm talking about? This mm -hmm. meeting is great today. This is fantastic. This is wonderful. But I don't mean to be up here with you guys, but it's going to rain again. You know, and, and like I used over there that day with him, I told him, you can put a band-aid on a broke leg, but it's not going to happen. So, you know, we're standing here talking all this, and we're going to take care of us for tonight and tomorrow, but it's going to rain again. 
Now, I know getting out of our property could be a wonderful situation. Just go and just forget it and turn our back. But it's going to rain again. You know, and, and so, you know, all this talk, it's really good. Listening to, to him come up, it's wonderful. But, guys, it's going to rain again. You know, and, and we cannot predict how much or how little we're going to get. You know, but we know that all these promises, were, and that when I went to the city, the city said it's Northport Southern. Okay, when I contact Northport Southern, Northport Southern says it's the city. It's like a blame game. But really and truly, all of it lies back into our lap here on Maple Street because nothing got done. And that was seven years ago. We went through another mayor, and here comes another mayor. Same thing. So we're, 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 we're talking, it's wonderful, it's food, it's wonderful. But right now, you know, that, that should be over with. You know, we really need to, I mean, you know, let's do something next. Alexis, again, she's, she's, she's not the only one. We, we went to the city to get the wall to the railroad. Right. And see, like the other morning, my, my daughter-in-law was in there asleep. She woke up, water was coming through the house with the power still on. Mm -hmm. We could be having a feeling today. Yep. Because when she stepped out of the bed, she stepped yep. out into the water. Yeah. 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 He's so in there in that situation too. With the power still on. And then uh, we had to call and help bring her out on the coat. Hey, Gary. Yeah. 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 How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? Until they get there. Until they get there. Yeah. Yeah. Something long term uh, that 